Hi guys, this is GoodFlash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we've been dwaddling around for, around for long enough now, haven't we? So let's say we go and actually rescue some princesses or something. Like, you know, whatever Mario does in his spare time. It's, you know, no judgmento. If, if he wants to save some princess, then go right ahead. I mean, doesn't really accomplish anything, does it? I mean, stop Bowser from being Bowser. I mean, do we... Is he really going to destroy the world? I don't remember him wanting to do that, just chill out with Princess Peach or something. Mario, can you hear me? Should be able to. I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway continues all the way up to Star Haven. We seven Star Spears will be waiting for you there. We wish to give you our redeeming power. With this power, you can, yeah, stand at the Star Rod. Alright, you could be here in person, but whatever, a text message is just as fine. I mean, you know, less, way, way, way more impersonal. We anxiously see await you, just like this dog. Is, is that dog anxious? I have no idea. I don't know the dog's backstory. We should, I, maybe I should have a chat with it over tea someday. But I'm a bit scared, so let's have Cooper out in our party, just for reassurance. Because Cooper just makes everything better. You know, I think I, this has been well, well established by this point in time. So, anywho, now we're in the stars. Hooray, that dog just will not let up, will, will he? So we can go back. We're sort of reaching the point of no return. I mean, we can go back anytime we want, but do we really want to? I just realized I don't have ice power on, so like, you know, this ember is actually gonna be not be able to jump on. I still feel a crap ton of damage, and they still give a decent amount of XP, so, you know, not really complaining. Oh, wow, Cooper, what? Why did I just spawn? Why, why did Cooper just spawn more Cooper? And why am I not able to guard? No, that's always a thing, isn't it? So, um... Cooper, 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 show me just a power shell or something. Hopefully this will kill one of them, right? Please? No, it won't. That's unfortunate. How about we just... Yeah, switch to Gimbario. Even though that's not going to do anything, we might as well. Just so we can get the tattle in and then won't. Because I do like being able to see an enemy's HP. I didn't realize I did 10 damage. That's significant. I've never seen like a, a two-digit number on the damage thing, and I've never seen that me this suck that much at action commands. Almost as much as I suck at the English language. Uncanny blue fire 10. That's exactly enough to kill them. How lovely. Fire attacks won't work. They divide themselves when they're attacked. Keep attack. Oh. So the only reason they're not dividing themselves when I attack them is because I kill them in one turn. That makes sense. So Cooper can actually kill these guys in two turns. So just like anyone else can. No one else can kill them in one turn except maybe... I don't even know if Bao could because um, you think her little fan smack would like kill her. So, you know, we'll, we'll just see what ends up happening. But, you know, Cooper, good good person to have out, just like this dog is a good person to keep away, or in, or wherever dogs like to chill. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. So, same old song and dance, I suppose, because this is a song and dance. It's a graceful maneuver that Mario does. You know, it's the art of, you know, hitting a hammer really hard. What makes him more powerful? What, what about that badge makes me suck at Ashen Command so much? My thing is almost at half, and when he does that, he's like, no, you bastard, and now he's on his back, you know, that, that I, you can't just ac attack Cooper like that and go, like, go away scot-free, you have to be punished, I'm sorry, that's how things work, actually, I'm not sorry at all for this, I am grateful that you are out of this world, and not attacking Cooper, you bastards, nobody attacks Cooper, Cooper's just cool to, cool to, cool, cool, too cool to be even spoken about how cool he is, so, we're go close to leveling up, I'm still disappointed that I'm sucking at action commands, in, in fact, I'm fairly certain that if I tried to do the jump action command, I couldn't actually do it. That's how much I suck at it right now. It's a good thing I'm forced to use my hammer. I mean, if I could, if I did have the opportunity, I guarantee you I couldn't. That's how sure I am. So let's try to actually get a guard in after I can attack this guy with Cooper. I really, should, I really should be cutting these battles. It's wasting so much time, and, you know, that's wasting so much health. Maybe, I, <laughs> I tried to convince myself earlier that, like, you know, um that fire attacks just can't be guarded, but I'm pretty sure I'm incredibly wrong about that. So I wasted about a good solid three minutes just doing nothing but battles. I mean, I do wanna, I'm, I did impose myself that challenge I did last part. I do wanna finish this by the end of the month. So let's see if like I can do that. How many like days are there to the end of the month? I'm too lazy to do the math right now, and I don't think you guys wanna watch me just do math. Save that for Tweewee and show me Nimota. When I first heard about all the Star Spears were captured and the Star Road was stolen, I lost it. I figured this is it, this is the end of the world. But now the Star Spears have safely returned. It just gave me to show you never give up hope. Well thank you, Twink clone. He doesn't exactly look like Twink. Oh, you know what else? Isn't there a good old shop? How much money do I have? 254, that's significant. Yeah, we wanna 
buy some shops at the good old shop. Um, how much? Let's see. How much of these can I buy? Yeah, that's fine. I have too many items. Damn it. That's the chicken laughing at me for not being... Check. Right, I want to check some items. Um, I don't need... What don't I need? I don't need all these stopwatches. I realize that that's useless. Exactly, chicken. Why is... Why is all the wildlife just so active at this moment in time? And why am I wasting so much time at the moment? Um, one more should be enough. I don't need... You vulture. No, I don't need a shooting star. I have my own, you know, sufficient shooting stars. And, um, even though we're going to be running into a million of these in the actual dungeon when going up to it, I might as well pick up this super shroom because I might as well use it now that I have almost enough FP to use it. So, yes, there you go. Thank you kindly. Now that we have that, we can do a fight I kind of want to do in the near, near future. Or for future, I don't know. And there's a bed, we can always sleep in that bed, even though it's a waste of time uh, to do it on screen, what, what else is a waste of time? Me talking about how much wasting time I'm wasting is also a waste of time. So let's take a nap, and calm down, because I'm talking a bit fast now, aren't I? I notice that in every part, my, like, my tone of voice and like how I speak changes drastically. Like, one day I'll be stuffed up, or one day I'll be talking really slowly, one day I'll be quiet, one day I'll be excessively loud. It also has something to do with the mic, one day I'll be popping, one day I'm not. One day I'm totally funny. Haha, <laughs> no. Um, so here we are at Star Haven, this fable place. No wonder Bowser got here, it's so easy to get, you think you'd have to go through some, like, you know, sacred barrier or something. A guard dog, a guard dragon? Come on. What are you guys, what are you star smoking? So here we are, oh, all you guys. There used to be a star rod here, but there's not, because you guys are incompetent. Mario, you find them, really they are, I mean, like, they can only do, like, 7 damage per turn. Come on, guys. Well, no, they could do more if they wanted to. The time has come to take the star spirit to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven join together to make opponent this final power. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? It could be something awesome, just kill anything attack? That would make sense, that'd be lovely, that'd be awesome. What do we get? Something a bit less useful than I thought. Star Beam. It's essentially Dis Spell. If an enemy has a buff on and you use Star Beam, they won't have that buff anymore. Use this power and, yeah, whenever... It's not only when Bowser uses it, like, if a Magic Koopa gives, like, a Koopa Troll, like, Electrified status, and you use Star Beam, they actually will take away their Electrified status. It's essentially Dispel from any legit RPG. Not to say that this isn't a legit RPG, it's just more of a light one, you know. You don't have to use as much strategy. The legendary Starship, to start really, this is legendary? I can't really see it having that much, like, you know, significance, it looks so goofy. But whatever. Are you ready to take off? Yeah, I'm pretty sure after this, we... It's not that we won't be able to come back, it's just once again. I'd be, do you really want to go all the way back to Toad Town at this point in time? I'd like to call this the point of no return, even though it isn't. So yeah, me and Cooper, shining through the stars. This is how I've always imagined it to be, ain't it? A shooting star. Look, a shooting star. Princess, come back. Princess, come back. Princess, come back. Yeah, isn't that like if you make a wish three times? Like, I used to like... It used to be like you make a wish before like a shooting I, when you see a shooting star it comes true. But apparently the new rule is you have to make a wish uh, you have to say it three times before the shooting star actually like fades away in order for that make wish to make true. I never heard of that part of the rule. But apparently I want to eat tons of shroom cake. I want to eat shroom cake. I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake. You'll be the next gourmet guy if you follow those your dreams. But yeah, as I was saying, apparently the wish is God, those dogs will not let up, will they? And the worst part is I'm probably picking up every little bit of it. But yeah, as I was saying, it's like you have to wish it three times before the uh, thing actually, like, the star fades out. That's what, um, Mega Man Star Force 3 says at least. Chapter 8, a star-powered showdown. Ooh, who could that silhouette be? Is it the Koopa Troll? That could be. Or, who, who is, is it Junior Troopa? That could be it. Man, it's so dark, I cannot even freaking... That is very dark, I can barely see the ground. Like, where am I even going? <laughs> That can be problematic. That's gonna be problematic. This is, at the moment, problematic. Where, where do I go? Is this a door? I guess it is. Thank you for telling me that dark room. Ooh, I might want to turn off the brightness a little later from now. Can I get back? Yeah, I can get back in. If I can even see, oh my god. This is ridiculous, and not just those dogs excessively barking. This, my, <laughs> my lack of vision is equally as ridiculous. And those dogs are pretty ridiculous, so you, you guys must realize just how ridiculous this ridiculous ossity is. So, enemies. Oh god, that's right, these guys have spikes on their heads. That's gonna be problematic. Oh, we've already tiled them already, yeah, because we ran into them that one day and that one time. Okay, so they have 
three um, three defense, so you know Cooper can stay. I would use Watt, but it doesn't really matter. Um, once it once I turn on Spike Shield and once I able <laughs> once I'm able to guard properly, if that ever happens, I'll use Watt. Not like guarding and using Watt have anything to do with each other. It just it just helps. Friggin' dogs. But I am gaining star points. As soon as I level up, that's not going to be a thing anymore. I just realized. But whatever. I can still do it. Oh, we got the castle key. That was quick. So aren't we? Oh, look, prisoners. I don't want to. Fine, we'll talk to you. We don't talk to you. Fine. Um, as I was saying, what do I have on that's useless? Power rush. Not the best thing in the world. Defense plus. I could probably afford to take that off. Sort of, kind of, not really. Okay, so what I want to have on. Well, obviously, I want to have a damage dodge on, just in case I miraculously decide to be good. And I want to have on Spike Shield, because everybody in this, everybody and their mothers in this place knows how to, you know, have spikes on their head. And multi-bounce, before I forget to put that rebag, put that back on. And that will be pretty much my main badge setup for this entire dungeon, I guess. I don't really need to change it up, except I might have to, due to this excessively hard boss battle. But that's way away in the near future. Near far future, I guess, I can say. So, okay, I still get hit by the first strike, and I kill st can't guard, and now I take more damage. Lovely. And now I even suck at action. No, I can do them. Yay. So, um, what's-his-face can stay? <laughs> what's-his-face? What is wrong with me is the better question. He can be Cooper. Oh, he's calling in more partners. See, back in the day when these guys were worth, like, five star points apiece, that would have been cool. And I just realized that if I if I used Watt, this guy would be dead by now, but I didn't use Watt. So I'm sorry, Cooper, but you know, we just, we, what, 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 what do you think? Use Electro Death. Cooper would have wanted this way. I mean, he's cool and all, but he doesn't have the electrifying capabilities that Watt does, and this guy just is so charismatic. I mean, sometimes when the people dance, just no one comes because they're just losers, but that Koopa Troll, that Koopa Troll has all the buddies just ready to die at their, his command, apparently. He, well, poor guy. Well, that's the end of him. I just ended a few lives. Isn't that? I'm. I guess I'm not taking this as seriously as I should be taking it. We are freaking killing these guys. Also, yes. Hmm. Star points. Hooray! We're gonna level up. Right? No, 99. <laughs> well, that, that's actually a good thing. That way, like, I'll get my bang for my buck when I fight the next enemy instead of just getting one. Okay. Maybe I should. No, I can't cut this one out because this one is when I level up, and I might as well use multi bounce if I can do it right. No, who, who, who said I could do it right? An idiot, that's who. I'm not sure if I'm actually able to, um... Did I really fail? Did I really fail that action command? Of all the action commands I could possibly fail, I failed that one. Okay, let's try this one again. Right? Yeah, I don't know. It's something, something, something is just really, really weird about it, I guess. And let's try and actually do this one properly, please. There you go. I don't know why that was so hard. And yeah, he gets back up. These guys get back and up on one turn. Luckily, they don't actually attack on that turn. Or maybe this guy's would be a challenge. Why don't Koopas do that? You think, you know, getting up and attacking on the same turn would be a useful thing to know, but apparently not. Um, I want some HP. I want at least 50 HP so I can actually get my bargain. Even though I never will when I think about it, because I'll never get... I can never recover 50 HP. Oh crap, you know what I don't know? When that door is. Oh, what do you know? These guys, these guys still do give, um two star points, so they're not useless after all, so I might as well still fight them, sort of, kind of. But I was saying, there's, um, there's an up coming, there's an up and coming, um, optional boss that you can, <laughs> that's just pathetic. There's an upcoming optional boss that you can do, that you can, um, actually do, but I don't remember actually doing it. I'll kill this guy, I guess. Man, I, I, I'm still kind of disappointed that I can't do multi-bounce right. Such a simple thing to do. And really, I'm running really low on time, not just actual, like, like, um, the time I, like, impose on myself, I'm running out of, like, legit time. Time I won't ever give in, no matter how hard you pull me in, and then I'll you. you, you get the point. And you know what? Bring in Cooper, because Cooper is efficient. That's Cooper's loveliness. He's so streamlined and only uses 3 FP on, like, the guzzlers, like, that is everybody else. So, yeah, that's why you'd use Cooper. Oh, well, and we just got a bit over time. Not really, because, um... Yeah, because cutting battles. I actually did one of those. <laughs> that was like the last time in years. Oh, a hammer bro. We can fight a hammer bro. I think once we get past this corridor, we'll call it a day. These guys have a bit more XP. Um, 
whatever you call it. <laughs> they have a bit more- oh, they even give us three star points, so they're stronger than Super Patrols, apparently. I know they have more defense, and they probably have more attack power, but I can actually guard them. I'm actually getting into the gist of things. I feel so proud of myself, and it only took me the entire game. I'm running so low on time, but, you know, that's the second time I've said that about time, so let's stop doing that, shall we? Um, is this the end? Yeah, this is it. So, let's go in here. What's this guy? Blue ha ha ha. Welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of guard Bowser's castle. It's my god job to keep suspicious types from entering. Or people who aren't suspicious, according to Bowser. You must be Mario, let me guess. Do you want to go through this hmm, door? Hmm? You want to get through the other side of this wall, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Um, uh, okay. Why not? Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then. I'll let you go through. <laughs> this trap door, that is. Sucker. I guess. That was the most obvious thing ever, but who jokes on you? There's actually a save block here. Gah ha ha. You fell for it, worm. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what. If you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Haha. <laughs> I'll know you would never make it, even though there's that crack in the wall, which I can actually put visibly see on, um, on, um, my computer screen because, like, it's brighter than my TV. What's in here, I pray tell? A tasty tonic. No, thank you. You know what's a better question? Where the hell is the save block in this place. So this part might stretch on for a bit, but it is the last few chapter of this game, so I, can, I think I can afford to do that. Oh, hey, it's the counselor, or the chancellor, whatever you call them. The advisor, the person. Might as well talk to him, even though we're over time. Oh, now we can get out. There we go. It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material is weak. These are much easier than the walls of Cooper wrote. Wow, this place must really suck then, doesn't it? Mario. Please save the Princess Peach, we're all relying on you now. Oh, I'm pretty sure, like, that prison also serves as a bed, so that's kind of funny, like, you can sleep there and rest your body and soul in prison. So until in the next part, we'll do more of the tassel, but until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!